All right, everybody, looks like we're filming. So we're going to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do a long time on this motorcycle. And you could call it the complete motorcycle riding guide, but it's mostly going to be a motorcycle riding guide for beginners. How to ride a motorcycle for beginners. We're going to get right into it because I know your time is valuable. And there's a lot of great videos on YouTube about how to ride a motorcycle, but they jibber jabber <laughs> on and on. And I'm like, just get to the point. So let's get right to the point. And we're going to show you how to ride a motorcycle. And then um, I'm going to also, right before that, I'm going to show you some great tools that you can get. Let's make sure this is in here properly. Some great tools that you can get for your motorcycle. Um, just absolutely great tools. Let's make sure we're recording. We are. And one of the tools we're going to show you right now is the RAM mount. You want to get that so you can hold your phone, you know, GPS and everything. I'm, I was going to put it there, but I want you to see the dash as we're going through the training. Some other tools you want to get, if you're going to do moto vlogging, if you take a look at this, this camera here, you see the chin. Let's see if I can straighten it out for you here. There's a chin mount here. It's a strap that goes on the, hopefully you can see that. It goes on to the chin and um, underneath the helmet. And you don't have to put all these attachments on your, mo your uh, motorcycle helmet. Because then you get a new helmet and you got to put all these plastic parts on it. And this strap comes on and off so you could do motorcycle vlogging get it on ebay look for gopro motorcycle helmet chin strap now another thing too is let's show you the backpack so when you're getting a backpack make sure that you try to find one with these clips see these clips right here so these clips go together so when you're going at high speeds it doesn't come off your shoulders like that now, there's another thing that's going to happen to you eventually as a motorcycle rider is sometimes your battery will just die on you. You know, that happens with cars also, but with the car, uh, sometimes you just have jumper cables in the back or whatever. But if you're a, on a motorcycle and you're out in the middle of nowhere, what to do, what to do. So there's these things that's great. Um, these are not product placements. I don't sell these or anything. But there's this uh, device called Red Fuel. Let me get it out here for you and see how it's got the jumper cables right here. And it's basically a lithium battery pack. And right in here, you would plug this part in the black and white uh, jumper cables, positive and negative. And you just lift up your seat and there's a button here and you press it once the cables are attached and it jumps your motorcycle look below this video um it's totally unrehearsed i was riding and i think there's a guy in a cbr and he was stranded on a you know motorcycle and i'm like all right great i can help him out with this so i was able to help him out with this motorcycle jump starter uh, this one's called red fuel and i like it it even has some safeguards so you don't damage uh, circuitry. I almost dropped it here. Um, what are some other things that you can get? Let's just throw this in here real quick. Some other things that you want to get. One last thing. Well, actually three more things. And then we're going to get on a ride. Very inexpensive. Make sure you use these sponge earplugs. It makes riding so much more enjoyable. Now, if you're just going in the street, I'm going to take you on the street and in the twisties and the freeways in a moment. But if you're just going on the twisties or on the street, it's not that windy and you don't get a lot of road noise. So you can go ahead and get away with, you know, if you have a good helmet, not wearing any plugs. But these plugs let in some sound, but it muffles it just a bit and it makes your riding more enjoyable and it won't damage your hearing. Now, we're going to be riding the epic, truly epic Kawasaki, excuse me, Z1000. I usually call it a Kawi, so 
<laughs> Kawi Z1000. But the Kawasaki, to be more appropriate and accurate, Z1000, this has a massive motor, a 1,043cc motor, and it has six gears. Just amazing, as you'll see when we get on it. Uh, so the last two things I would tell you, get a helmet. Again, if you can see my helmet, I have a drop-down shade uh, in my helmet, and it drops down with this lever over here. Hopefully you can see it. I apologize if you can't. Why do you want to get a helmet with the drop-down shade? Um, this is a Scorpion EXO. EXO. You'll see the little Scorpion emblem on those helmets. And the Scorpion EXO has a pump in here that you can pump up and it goes around your cheeks and keeps it more secure. And then also it has the drop-down shade. You want to drop down black shade in your helmet because if you're riding and the sun's blazing like it is now you could just drop it down but let's say you're going to be riding somewhere and then nightfall hits if you have a tinted shade you're not going to be able to see and you have to get another shield and take off the shield and then snap that one on your helmet it's just a a drag so definitely go with uh the scorpion helmets are great as far as being reasonably priced and they uh, have the pumps for the cheeks. And then also, it has the drop-down shade. Look for the EXO brand. Now, notice we turn the key. Turning the key doesn't really start it, just the, the power goes to it. This is the digital dash. So we have tachometer here, speedometer here. We have the starter here. and. Let's start it, and I'll, I want to show you one more thing here. Now, one of the things I want to show you is, um, before we get it started, well, let me get it started while I'm showing you. You see my gloves. Notice the index fingers here. These gloves, they're called SU-09 gloves, and they're made by, well, let me, where is it, right here? S-U-O-M-Y, Suom, Suomi. They're excellent. They have the reinforced padding all over them and uh, the reinforced thumbs, but you can go to your ATM machine. You could pump gas with this. This is digitized where you could even go on your phone and operate your phone when you get to a light or if you want to activate your GoPro and things like that most gloves you can't do it like leather gloves you're hitting your phone or you're hitting the atm you got to take your gloves off it's a pain uh, this just makes it all the better so now when you're sitting on the bike let's go through some of the gauges and what they mean so on the right side over here just remember on most japanese bikes everything on the right has to do with going and stopping okay so find a giant parking lot like this because you're going to practice in a giant parking lot. Of course, make sure there's no cars around and stuff. You don't want to go practice over here where there's cars. Um, oh, one more product i got to tell you about. I'm sorry, but the, just so many things I learned. This is a um, Joe Rocket tank a magnetic tank bag, and this thing is strong. I don't recommend any other tank bags, but Joe Rocket, there's some very strong magnets and it's rubber, rubberized so it doesn't scratch your tank, And but very, very strong. I've had some other tanks where I'm riding and it, it like flies off into my chest, you know, at, at high speeds. This thing is not going anywhere. So back to the lesson. So we were talking about the right side, right? So now let's get to what the levers do and everything. So this is the front brake. When you're new, just get in the habit of lightly squeezing this. <coughs> We're gonna take it on the freeway right now and in the twisties I'm gonna show you. We're not gonna spend a lot of time in the parking lot because I know you wanna see some action. But you're not gonna pull this back with full force, you know, when you're going real slow and everything because you could, it'll stop immediately and then you're gonna fall over if you have time to stop and come to a safe stop, a good analogy, it's like you're squeezing an orange, slowly squeezing it uh, as it comes to a stop. Here's the throttle here, 
Uh, we'll give it a few revs. This is the Moto uh, GP version of the Akropovic. Uh, I love this exhaust. Just awesome. Now, here is the rear brake here. So what do we teach you? Remember, on the bike, when you're sitting on it, everything on the right is going, the throttle, and stopping, front brake, rear brake. Your foot goes like this, and you tip down there. So let's go back over here. Well, what's the left side for? Everything on the left side has to do with gear shifting, okay? This right here does nothing. It's just a handle to hold on to. So how do you shift gears? So this is the part that uh, is the most complex, but you'll you'll get to it you know riding a motorcycle is very very easy people make a bigger deal of it than what it is you're gonna do awesome okay so what you're gonna do let's say you're in fifth gear and you want to shift up to six it's different when you're shifting upward than when you're going downward just slightly different okay let's talk about shifting upward you're in fifth gear and you're on the throttle because you're going to be holding the throttle let's say on the freeway and you want to shift up to six gear what do you do well you're holding the throttle i'm going to show you when we're on the freeway you're going to pull this clutch lever in here and squeeze it pull it back all the way and hold it and then you're going to get your foot like this and you're going to kick up to six gear okay then once you're in gear you're going to release the throttle and you're good to go let's see if i have something to show you here on how to shift i had a pin in here hold on was here oh here it is grab it here hold on okay let's use this pin here this will do so when you're on the motorcycle if you've ever climbed up a ladder gone up a ladder down a ladder that's a good analogy of what you're going to do when you're shifting here's you standing next to the ladder and imagine the gear shift lever the gear shift uh, you know clutch and the gears it's the ladder they're steps on a ladder so you're wanting to uh, go into first gear so what's really interesting first gear is here neutral is here on most Japanese bikes then you have second so if you were to do a, to do a slight tap up from first gear you know how you put your foot under the peg and you slightly tap up you would be in neutral I'm going to show that to you in a moment you would just put your foot like this slightly tap up you're in neutral but if you're in neutral and you pull the clutch lever in and you kick down you'll be in first so let's say you want to go up to six gear go with it with with me and we're first we're going to do it on the fingers and then we're going to do it in real life you want to go into first you're going to pull the clutch lever in kick down because notice we're in neutral see the neutral light kick down you're in first slowly let the clutch out while giving it throttle we're going to show you that right now in the parking lot and then now you're moving in first you let the clutch out and you're slowly moving in first now you want to go up to second you're going to pull the clutch lever in, kick up till you feel metal. And when I say kick, it's more like tap your toe up till you feel metal. That means you're in the second gear. Let go, and now you're in second. You're always moving up and down the gear. You want to go up to third, release the throttle, pull the clutch lever in, kick up to third, release the clutch lever, now you're in third. And you do that all the way up to fourth, fifth, sixth. You want to go all the way up to sixth, you're going to release the throttle pull the clutch lever and kick up to six now remember i said shifting upwards different than shifting downward when you want to shift downward you're not really on the throttle you're just coming to a stop so you're not even pulling the throttle back you're just in sixth gear you pull the clutch lever in kick down to fifth slowly let the clutch lever out and you'll feel the bike come to a stop I, I mean slowing to a stop i should say you're not completely stopped now you keep doing that now you're in fifth gear you want to go to fourth you pull the clutch lever in kick down on the gear shift lever over here to fourth and slowly let the clutch out so let's show you it's a lot better to show you so you have the throttle here the starter here this is the kill switch here um and then this is just a fake eject button that we put there and this is the clock watch the tack See how it's moving up and down? That's the tack. We have the fuel gauge and 
Um, you have left turn signal right here, blinking. If you want to go to the right, you just push it to the right. If you want to cancel out, watch my thumb. On three, we're going to push in. One, two, three. It cancels it out. You have the brights here, so we just shut the brights off. Big mistake people always make when they're new is they don't fully put the kickstand up, so you're going to kick it, and it's all the way up. When you're going to come to a stop, make sure you have it all the way engaged. Look at it, make sure that it's engaged, because everyone, including yours truly, um, I've gone to gas stations and I'm over there pumping gas and my bike falls on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought I had the uh, kickstand engaged. Now, I've never got a ticket on the motorcycle and I've never crashed on the motorcycle. I've had the bike <laughs> tip over at, on me at the gas station. And stuff. So I feel I'm pretty much qualified. I've been riding for like 10 years. So you want to ride? Here we go. Notice we're in neutral. Pull the clutch lever in. Hold it. Kick down notice the neutral lights off if i slightly kick up remember the ladder first neutral second i slightly kick up from first i'm in neutral clutch lever in kick down whatever you do don't release the clutch lever because you'll start lurching forward then what i would suggest you do do this up like about 50 times slowly release it and as soon as it starts moving pull it back get to know where it catches you, you'll get it in your subconscious mind slowly release it see how we're moving pull it back slowly release it pull it back then when you feel you're ready slowly release it give it a little bit of throttle on the right keep releasing it release it slowly look at this you are awesome you're going now always remember in your mind the gear shift pattern we're in first so what were to happen if we like pull the clutch lever up and we pull the clutch lever in and slowly kick up. We'll be in neutral, right? Watch the dash. See that? We slowly kicked up to neutral. And then we've come to a stop. We're going to talk about braking in a moment, but for now let's get into shifting. So now we're going to go up to second. Watch. Clutch in, kick down. It starts to catch. Slowly give it throttle. Keep giving it throttle in increments as you incrementally release the clutch lever very little throttle just enough you're going to use your ears a lot listen so you don't stall it now watch let's get up to second here release clutch lever release throttle i should say clutch lever in kick up to second release clutch lever now we're in second now if you go too slow in second it's going to stall on you so watch, you never want to shift down to first gear going at very high speeds. But watch as I start going very, very slow, clutch lever in, watch this, almost at a walking pace. I kick down to first, watch, I'm going to release the throttle, and here we go. Now we're going to talk about braking. You want to brake? We're going to go over here so we don't wear out our welcome with these people. We're in first gear, right? Going to go up to second real quick. Now, what do you do when you're in second? Remember, from one gear down from second is neutral, so watch this. Slowly applying the brakes on the right, the front brake, while I kick down to neutral, right? So we'll let the people go. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to talk more about braking. Slowly letting the throttle out. Always keep the handlebars straight. That's rule number one. Watch how we brake. I'm going to kick into neutral. Slowly squeezing the front brake only. And my feet come down. So practice that. As long as you're keeping your... Let me get going here. So these people, as long as you're keeping your handlebar straight, you're going to be okay. Now watch. When you're practicing, just stop in... Um, first you know you're in first gear and then pull the clutch in and just stop in neutral but hold the clutch lever in so let's go over here one more time we're going to turn so watch this just practice now we'll go out in the streets watch how i stop you're in first pull the clutch lever in slowly squeeze the brake don't look down like this look ahead but out of your peripheral vision well, keep the clutch lever in, but out of your peripheral vision, make sure your handlebars are straight. So, 
braking it's always that way you're going to slowly come to a stop uh, and when you're new don't follow people like real close and everything so now we're going to show you the freeway believe it or not freeway is pretty easy because you don't do a lot of shifting so i'm going to tell you what i'm doing as we do it first gear we're just going to take this corner here now we're going out to the freeway so what i'm going to do i'm going to stay in first because we're going you know 15 miles per hour and when i get here i'm going to pull the clutch lever in clutch lever in i'm still in first so you don't have to take it out of gear every darn time I'm slowly braking make sure you have a lot of room now when we get on the freeway here let me take put it neutral because there's cars coming when we get on the freeway speed is life so first i'm going to go through it i'm going to get up to a good speed right away and then i'm going to show you how we did it okay Okay, clutch in, kick down to first, slowly giving it throttle while releasing the clutch lever. Now we're in first, so we're going to go on the freeway and then the twisties. We're going to go up to second, release throttle, clutch lever in, kick up to second, release clutch lever, roll back onto throttle. You could do that very fast. Now notice I'm in second, we're not going to have to stop here, so I'm going to go up to third. We're in third, now we're gonna get on it. Release throttle, clutch lever in, kick up to fourth, release clutch lever, roll back onto throttle. Now we're gonna do it real fast. So I'm just doing it slow out of respect to you so you can see it. Watch, when I say one, I'm gonna be in fifth gear. One, up to fifth, that fast. What I did is I released throttle, pulled clutch lever in, went up to fifth, released clutch lever, and rolled back onto throttle. Now let's get up to six on one. One, up to six. See how fast we did that? So now we're in six. So now what we're gonna do, take a look on the freeways. Don't ride next to people, like get away from the cars. Uh, when you see like hazards, like this guy right here with the bike on his truck. Make sure you have an escape. We're also gonna talk about counter steering. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced, but we'll throw that in as like a bonus. So, so what gear are we in, you remember? Sometimes you'll forget what gear you're in, but we're in six. So now we're gonna be getting off and going to the twisties. Watch how we do it. You do not wanna get in the habit of breaking while you're going around a corner, you should brake. Hold on, just the microphone. You should brake before you go into the corner. We're in sixth gear. Watch this. Fifth gear. I'm not braking. So now what I'll do, I'm kind of coasting here. Still in fifth. I'll go down to fourth. We're going like 45. The little sign said like 35 or whatever. Going around the corner. See what that guy needs help. <sighs> See if it's Is it battery? Is it battery? Hold on. I can't hear. What was it? I said, um, it was the back bearing, the back uh, tire. It was like, like scraping on something. So they left to go uh, get a trailer. Oh, okay. Good deal. Yeah. I had a battery starter in case you needed it. Oh, no, thank you. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So, I don't want to go straight because then I'll get stuck. Well, let's go straight. We're going to take you to some new twisties here. 
it was a she too so sorry about that you can't tell when they're in a hoodie so oh no wait a minute i can get off here so freeway you notice i mean they fly so you don't want to be moping along at these little freeway speeds let's talk about what type of motorcycle you should get if you're going to be going freeways for god's sakes get at least a 300 or 400 if you have freeways that go like like look at it, it says like 67 miles per hour and this is slow for this freeway they usually go like 80 okay um so we're gonna get off here and we're gonna give you more lesson on braking here but i do want to take you to the twisty so so notice i let go of the throttle i'm starting to downshift you know you're gonna find that the bikes really handle well you know like the speed limit will say one thing but you could actually go quicker than what it says if you had to I'm not braking going around a corner. I'm, I'm glad I did that. Listen, do not ever, ever brake going around a corner. You are going to have major problems if you brake going around a corner. So if you're going to brake, like brake now and then take the corner. So let's go through the shifting. Watch. Release throttle, clutch lever in, kick up clutch lever out to roll back onto throttle i think this streak takes us to where we want to be now watch release throttle clutch lever in kick up release clutch lever roll back onto throttle now we're going to slow it down a little bit here sometimes what happens is you have there's like a cop up here so he might have his radar on but i'm going okay so sometimes what happens is you have to like break you know like very very fast and so then you're going to use your front brake and your rear brake let's see if he's coming to get us no I think we can go straight here, yeah. You know, I was just about to get on it too, uh, but then I saw the cop, you know, so I'm like, okay, I better not, because it was like, what was it, 35 miles per hour. And so, so we're back to where we saw that lady uh, broken down on the Harley type bike, and we're gonna take you through the twisties. Now, watch how we brake here. Clutch lever in, slowly squeezing the front brake and you, I'm even downshifting at the same time you see how I do that you don't have to zoom up to the light and then brake okay you don't have to do that look she's still there so she said she's getting off and she felt something scraping in the back so they went to get a trailer to tow it if I had a drink or something I would give her a drink so we're going to show you braking when you really need to brake you're going to squeeze the front brake and the rear brake and sometimes because you you can downshift here with the left but you're braking the rear brake with the right sometimes what you can do is you're downshifting at the same time you're applying both brakes you'll get real good at it so notice it's red, no one's behind me. What I usually do is I don't like zooming up to the light and then braking and all. I just kind of coast and uh, you know, now I'll slowly brake. Now what's really good, we have high speed, very high speed. You're gonna see on the speedometer, very high speed counter steering coming up. Even beginners need to know counter steering if you're a beginner and you're going on high speed turns like freeway on ramps you know where one freeway is changing to another and you're like five stories up in the sky <laughs> doing that you're going to need ca to learn counter steering listen it's so easy when you do it you're going to be like i really didn't have to learn that it's like a natural phenomenon but 
people are afraid of it sometimes. I've been riding with people and I'm trying to teach them counter steering and they are afraid to do it. And I go, look, when we go up into the twisties, you're gonna crash, you can't lean through the corners. So here's what counter steering is. When I pull back on the left, notice I go to the right. If I pull back on the right, notice I go to the left. This happens mostly uh, at speed. Now, if I turn to the right at slower speeds, I'm gonna go to the right, but I wanna show you something. So at high speeds, we have a high speed corner to the left coming up here, and I'm gonna hit it at really good speed, okay? Full, almost like full on speed. It says 50, so we're gonna hit it at that. Let's let that dude in that white car way up there go. So what am I gonna do when I have this corner coming up? If it's a high speed corner to the left, <laughs> that guy's tired of waiting, but I'm trying to get distance between me. Well, good, he was behind me so I can do it. If it's a high speed corner to the left, I'm gonna pull towards me on the right, slightly give it pressure forward here, and what that does, watch, it's going to lean me into the corner. So you ready? Here we go. Let's get up <laughs> with that dodge that passed us up. You got to learn this or you, you know, you're going to crash. And some people, they're embarrassed to say they're scared to do it. But just try it when you're going straight. Pull back on the left. It goes to the right back on the right it goes to the left now watch this on three I'm gonna pull back on the right and slightly push forward on the left watch one two three now if I want to make it lean more we're catching up with the Dodge I would apply slightly more pressure now look at the sign coming up on the right. You're gonna see it's like a snake. So we're gonna continue to do this counter steering left and right, left and right, left and right. Watch. Now who's in your mirror, Mr. Dodge driver? No, I'm kidding. So we're gonna pull back on the left on two, one, two. He's leaning it. See, you have to learn counter steering. I'll tell you at the end of this, look at the sign. Pull back on the right. The bike is heavy. These bikes are hundreds and hundreds. Look, he's braking. We're not. Pull back on the left. He's for sure going to brake here. This next one's a strong one. Watch. Told you. We're not braking. Now watch this. Pull back on the right. We're even gaining. So, you got to learn counter steering because the bike's so heavy, if you try to lean it in some of the corners, you're not going to be able to do it. The bike wants to stand itself up. So you're like trying to lean it and you're going to go off in a ditch. But when you counter steer, like right here, watch, pull back on the right. It manipulates the bike. Since this guy's like braking like left and right. It manipulates the bike into a more positive position that you want it to be in. So now we're going to show you how to brake and then we're going to turn around and we're going to go back through that without the Dodge dude at a more advanced pace, okay? So, we're coming to a stop sign and we're all the way up in six gear, right? So, I like to say it's like landing a, a jet airplane, like, you know, on an aircraft carrier, like a, you know, a Tomcat or like a F-15. What you're gonna do, in, you're gonna do it in three stages. At one point, you're gonna look and you're gonna release the throttle, like now. Now we're coasting. Now I'm downshifting, I'm not braking yet. Now I'm slightly braking with the front and the rear while downshifting. You see how it was like three phases to it? So we're gonna go over here and follow this motorcycle guy here. And uh, great, he's he's going the other way so we're not going to follow the motorcycle guy he's not going through the twisties i was going to show you so we're going to turn around and go back at a more advanced pace and follow through if you want to shift up what do you do release throttle clutch lever in kick up 
release clutch lever. So it's pretty safe to turn around here and no one's here. Now there's gravel, so you, you know, be real careful here. What I'll do here, I'm not giving it throttle, I'm just using the clutch lever to inch it forward. Now I'm slowly giving it. And then what I'll do is I'll just back it up straight so I have a straight launch. People coming around the corner are going to think I'm like a cop or something. Freak out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to approach this at a more advanced pace going back. Release throttle, clutch lever in, kick up, release clutch lever. So practice counter steering while you're going straight. Pull back on the left, you'll notice you go to the right. Pull back on the right, you go to the left. So at a higher speed, if you want to go to the right, you're going to slightly pull back on the left while applying pressure on the front. Different bikes are different. Some you don't even have to apply pressure to the front. You just um, apply pressure to one handlebar. So here we go. Now I'm going to do this at a more advanced pace. Let's go through the gears. Ready? So we're in first. Release throttle. Clutch in second. Release throttle. Clutch in third. Look at the tack, 6,000 RPMs, released throttle, clutch in, four. And then on the way back, I'll tell you what type of motorcycle to get if you're a beginner. We'll go through that. Release throttle, clutch in, fifth. Remember, we have six gear. So... This bike has a lot of torque, so we'll keep it in, uh, we'll even go up to six, watch. So we're all the way up to six. I hope this guy's not doing a U-turn. Okay, go with me through the counter steering here. We can lean it, we're leaning it. See this one. We lean that one. We're going to lean this one. If you're going real slow, you can lean it, right? So probably up here, I'm going to see if I can lean it and not use counter shift because they're going kind of slow now uphill. Now I'm going to downshift to fifth. So now we're going like really slow, like 40s and stuff. So you don't have to counter steer. Let's try to see if we have to counter steer here. Nope, no counter steering here. So slow speeds, you can, you know, just lean it as you can see. I wanted that to be more of an advanced one, but we hit the traffic. So we're gonna end on the freeways. And there he goes, hey brother. Figures, motorcycle guy. So now, watch this. We're gonna release throttle, shift upward. Now you don't know the sensation of the camera, I don't know if you can see it, we're going downhill. See, everyone's hitting their brakes. <laughs> Some motorcycles, the motor's tight, so when you release the throttle, you'll have engine braking. Some people will get power commander, they'll do different things with the computer, where you can get rid of that engine braking, so when you're going downhill, it really coasts. Uh, really good. I happen to like engine braking because I like to be able to give it acceleration when I need it or if I'm going downhill and I want to stop, I like to be able to stop. So I'm going to see if I can give you a bonus here. So we're going to follow this dude and see if we can do see how he does counter steering. Okay? Let's see if we can do it. I didn't know that guy was coming there, so let's do it. So we're going to track him. It looks like this guy knows what he's doing. And so we're going to follow him and use him as a demo to see if he's 
he knows how to do it. We better hurry because we don't want him to go to the counter stirring part when we're not there. Okay, we got him. Alright, let's keep an eye on him, how he does it. Let's see if he breaks going through everything. So far, so good. If they break, they don't know counter steering. He's good. Right here is the big test. The guy's awesome. You see the lean of his bike as he applies the counter steering. All right, so if he goes left, I'll get you some bonus footage because there's a lot more twisties over there. If he goes right, uh, we're gonna go back one more time and see if I can give you some advanced footage uh, and in the video. So we're coming down in about 60 seconds. We're coming down to that stop sign. See if he goes left. There's this biker bar restaurant thing over here. And so a lot of bikers come through this part. We're doing good on fuel. This thing sucks fuel. Let's talk about what type of motorcycle to get. We're gonna upshift if you are going to be going in the twisties like this and you just you know are not going to be going very fast like long distance freeway riding yeah a 300 i like the kawasaki ninja 300 and i especially like the new 400 that would be perfect either of those bikes would be perfect for this um, look below this video to see more videos. I actually took a Kawasaki Ninja, the lower powered ones, through these twisties and I was amazed at how well they handle. I mean, the bike is totally made for that. Okay, so we're going to see, does he go left? And he's going <laughs> right, our luck. So he's going right. So we're going to turn around and we're going to go back through the same area with no cars in front of us a more of an advanced um, little example ride okay because there's really slow riding over here so let's look for a, a place to Turn around. Now watch, we're going to do counter steering here. We're going to pull back on the left. Watch. On three. One, two, three. Ah, here's another one. We're going to pull back on the right on three. One, two, three. And we're slightly giving it pressure on pushing forward on the left handlebar. Let's look for some place where we can turn around and we'll show you some stuff. Maybe this is it. They're slowing down. Let's see what we got here. Ah, little driveway. Downshifting. We'll turn around. What a view. Got some gravel here, so we're gonna pull out kind of slow after this traffic. All right, 
so notice the pavement here is like uneven. Wow, this road is horrible. like the worst road I should have taken so I could feel like the tires floating around and stuff we're almost out of it jeez this thing Finally, we're at the end. But that's good because we have some cushion in front of us. Okay, counter steering here. We're gonna pull back on the left, slightly push forward on the right on three. One, two, three. Definitely counter steering there. definitely a little here pulling back on the right okay let's let the cars go so we could actually uh, we could pass them now oh no we cannot pass them I'm gonna let that guy go go ahead I'm going to go, I'm trying to get some distance, and I'm having a hard time getting distance. Gee, what? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Everyone keeps going in front of me. If that big truck goes, okay, good. All right, no one's behind me. Oh, finally. So we'll sit here for a while. Oh no, here they come. Okay, here we go. Going slow to get some dis get those guys some distance. Ready, set, go. We got it now. We got it now. We're going to show you some stuff. Okay, accelerating more. Releasing throttle, clutch lever in, shifting upward. All right, we're gonna ride this line right here, pulling back on the right on two. One, two. Pulling back on the left on two. One, two. That one wasn't too strong. Pulling back on the left on two. One, two. Ah, that one wasn't too strong. Here's the ones up here that are pretty strong. Upshifting again. Pulling back on the left on two. One, two. Pulling back on the right on two. One. Two. Pulling back on the left on two. One, two. And on the right on one. One. That was a blast. And we're all the way up to six, so now we'll end it with us getting on the freeway like I said, this thing's a beast. We're down to two bars of fuel.
and um, we'll show you how we get on the on-ramp you know those on-ramps that curve around like a C and then we're gonna hit it and then I'm gonna end it so you guys get the idea when you're braking keep the handlebar straight or you're gonna fall over because all the weight of the bike goes to one side keep the handlebar straight what else did we learn never put the front brake on under any circumstances while you're going around these high-speed corners you have the little patches of rubber that are touching the asphalt and when you put those brakes on they can lose grip while you're going around the corner now you can look up trail braking which is a skill where you apply the rear brake but that is fraught with some challenges also if you were on a racetrack that has been kept up and you know there's no coolant or oil or debris or gravel you know but you're in the real world where you saw like the road conditions that we were just on you see how you have these different variables that come into play uh, when you're going to brake remember the ladder uh, you have first neutral second third fourth fifth sixth a slight tap down from second will put you in neutral a slight tap up from first will put you in neutral most bikes the majority of them are geared that way you may only have six gears or you may have five gears but most bikes are geared where the bottom gear is second watch first all the way up now I'm in second we're gonna release throttle pull the clutch lever in kick up to third then I release the clutch lever and let it out and then I roll back on the throttle so you're always releasing the throttle between gear shifts um, even and here's our freeway we're getting on even as you're shifting downward notice there's no throttle now clutch in shift down I'm slowly squeezing the front brake while just barely holding my foot down there on the right on the rear brake okay so we're gonna get on freeway I'll show you how I do it it's gonna curve over here to the right so I'll go like this see how that guy's cutting corners you don't want to be like cut corners if you don't have to so what I do you know it's gonna to go to the right so you don't want to hug the inside I'm gonna go left to right watch left and then I throw it into the corner like that and you do want a little this throttle on the the rear man that guy's burning something because um, those tires act like gyroscopes and they help to keep your motorcycle situated so thanks for watching you guys there's lots of other videos I have below with other bikes where we show you how to ride even how to ride a leader bike for the first time check that out now if you're going to be riding freeways I would suggest at least a 500 or a 400 at least you're going to have issues with the 300 and the 250 you're going to feel exhausted you're going to feel like you walk there so get something like this dude here coming up on the left Oh, I'm glad he uh, came up here. Notice I have a windscreen, and that guy doesn't have a windscreen. So it does get kind of aggravating without a windscreen. It really does. For long periods of time, but pretty nice bike. You notice how he's positioned straight up, and I'm more like lean forward I like slightly lean forward uh, also I have a chain driven motorcycle he's got that belt you see it on the right side and we'll get you this side over here So I do like the uh, slightly lean forward position. 
that bike he has is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I don't like that straight up position with all the wind hitting you. I hate that. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to uh, thumb up this video to your heart's content. And um, have a great week.